So uh, we have used our Tango technology to identify a new compound that can increase the NAV 1.1 protein levels that, as I mentioned, are lower in patients with Dravet syndrome. So using these, this new compound, we can get access to, to the nerve cells and increase the missing factor in those nerve cells to restore it back to normal functioning. We now have tested this new uh, compound, this, uh, this oligonucleotide. We have now tested this in animal models, specifically a, a mouse model, where we can show that by administering our oligonucleotide, we can, in these mice, increase the NAV 1.1 levels and more than double them, which would more than double the levels, which would more than sufficiently account for the decrease that's seen in the disease. We have also, that was done in, in healthy mice, so we've shown in healthy mice that we can raise the levels. We also are working with a, a mouse model of Dravet syndrome, which is a model that has many of the features of Dravet syndrome that we see in patients. So these mice do, ha do develop seizures, spontaneously they can develop seizures, and the mice also have premature death, so their survival is decreased. We have shown using our technology that we can, in these mice, restore the NAV 1.1 levels back to normal. So the, the mouse model, the, these mice that are susceptible to these symptoms have lower levels of the NAV 1.1. We can show that we can restore that with the idea being that we can prevent all of these symptoms from happening in the mice. So we've, we've done that. We are now in the process of starting to do the testing for our compound that is required in order to start clinical testing. That is testing the toxicology or the, the potential for any harmful outcomes from our therapy. and. We will proceed with that and potentially, if all goes well, we may be able to start testing in the clinic, in a clinical trial, at the beginning of 2020. Although we have high hopes that this therapy could actually end up in clinical testing, it's all preliminary and there are always things that could go wrong. So we can't make any promises that it will be available. And although we're happy to announce the, the results of our trials, and we will be announcing one result at the upcoming American Epilepsy Society meeting, we always want people to be aware of the fact that these treatments are still only tested in animals, they have not been tested in people, and that there are potentially problems that can arise that are unforeseen that may prevent us from being able to actually test this or get it finally approved for use in patients.